Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to F&D Outdoors. Uh, I'm getting ready to go on um, that winter trip that you may have seen in my other video that I'm talking about because I'm excited about that winter camping trip with the folks from uh, Bushcraft USA and the Michigan Bushcraft Facebook site. So I haven't met any of them yet. So if you're seeing this, hey, how's it going? I'll see you there. Uh, what I want to talk about today um, is I've seen a bunch of videos for all the guys that are going on these backpacking trips or bushcrafting trips and they're talking about what food are they taking to make sure that they have enough calories to you know have the energy to take the trip and go backpacking and and what they're doing and um, when I first started the channel uh, you know I talked about also using the outdoors as motivating me to uh, get in better shape and lose some weight which still stands true now any good weight loss story wouldn't uh, start well without a little stumble backwards and um, I didn't do as well as I want. I didn't start the channel up and going as soon as I wanted. Uh, I wasn't exercising as much as I wanted because I was working, which I'm working a lot now. And uh, you know, it's uh, I love it. I love being busy and being challenged, but I am a little tired. But um, you know, that deer season came in, and uh, you know, instead of losing weight, I gained some weight. So. Uh, that said, a couple weeks ago, I joined the gym. I've been going to the gym. I've been eating a little bit better, and uh, I've been shedding some pounds finally. And so now I'm excited to keep that, you know, keep that up and focus on this. So, uh, so what I'm going for is I'm going to go on, head out there on Friday morning, and I'll come home on Sunday, you know, probably sometime, you know, uh, before lunch. So I need uh, a lunch and a dinner, a breakfast, lunch and a dinner, and a breakfast. And um, for my height, which I'm about six foot. And uh, I was about 375 after I had a little you know, weight gain that I didn't want to put on, but now I'm about uh, 365, which is nice. Um, again, I want to keep heading back towards the other direction. My ultimate goal is that, uh, you know, it's spread out. I obviously, I'd like to be around 235, uh, ideally, but that's a long time away. I'd like to be before, you know, like October of this uh, 2018 to, to be under 300 pounds. So slow and steady wins the race. Uh, that said, uh, being pretty sedentary in my job, we sit a lot in the car a lot. Um, I can eat about 2,250 calories a day and be good to go. And if I can stick to that, I'll be fine. I've been doing a pretty good job of it lately, and uh, I want to keep that up. So what I've done here is I've planned out some meals. Uh, I got all the calories figured out. Now, being that I'll be out and exerting myself a little bit, I did plan uh, to take in a couple extra calories. So that Friday that I get out there and hike in, which it's only a mile, but it, you know, it's probably going to be through some deep snow, get out there, set up camp, get some firewood, get things collected, and uh, I'm sure we'll be doing some activities on Friday. Obviously, those things, same thing Saturday, I supplemented a couple extra calories. So Friday, I want to be about 2,500, and then uh, Saturday, about 2,750, and then Sunday, back to my 2,250. Um, the way I got it planned out, I'm going to meet or exceed those, but uh, just looking at some of the things that um, you know I'll be eating, I have here in front of me, and uh, we'll go over those. So uh, I know it's lazy, but I do love this uh, maple and brown sugar instant oatmeal. You don't need to add any flavoring to it. It's good to go. A couple packs of this uh, for breakfast um, before I leave home, and then I also have for this breakfast on Sunday morning and one packet of it for breakfast on Saturday, but also for Saturday breakfast, because I figure I'll be a little more active. I'm also gonna add some bacon and eggs. So bacon, eggs, and oatmeal uh, out there is gonna be uh, delicious. Um, call it lazy, but uh, some of the, the easiest things I like to do is peanut butter and jelly. So uh, if you guys have Chick-fil-A or, you know, like a restaurant that gives away jelly packets, you know, every time we were going, or anyone I knew was going and said, hey, pick me up some, some jelly packets. So I got these strawberry jelly packets. Uh, each packet is about 35 calories. And uh, so I figured two packets of that for lunch and a packet of almond butter. And uh, these are 99 cents um, single sale packets at um, you know any grocery store. 
and uh, they're about 190 calories uh, per packet. And then I could make bannock if I wanted, but I really like these biscuits. Uh, they're just add water, uh, which uh, makes them easy. And I'm just going to split this before I go into two servings, or I should say into halves. And then uh, that would actually be the bulk of my lunch because that would be about 450 calories per lunch. So the first lunch and the second lunch, 450 calories from each lunch would just come from the biscuits. But they're just add water so they're easy to use. Fill it in there, mush it around, and then, you know, uh, cook that in the pan uh, to fry it up. So that's, you know, 450, essentially, you know, 650, and then another 70 minus 10 to balance out there. So you know, 710 calories. And uh, by the time you add some oil, cooking oil in there, you know, you're talking about less than, you know, you're about 800 calories for lunch by the time you balance it all out. So good stuff there. Uh, dinner the first night, I got a lot of choices. Um, let's take a look at a few of those. So got the mountain houses here. And a uh, little thing of goodies over there for different types of meals and stuff I like to have. But I'm uh, going to the mountain house and I get these boxes. And this is a pretty good deal on clearance there. You can see there's a few different f uh, flavors. I know I like beef stroganoff. And I know I like chicken and uh, noodles and chicken and beef stew. And, and uh, one of the other ones I really like and I've seen in other video is the chili mac and beef. Uh, here I'm going to have the teriyaki with uh, rice, chicken teriyaki with rice first because I assume that's the one I like the least and I figure I'll just get rid of them. But that's about 220 calories and um, for serving and that's right here and each serving is about 220 calories, I'm sorry, but uh, it's about two and a half servings per container. So just by weight, by that 142 grams and the nutritional information that actually comes out to about 548 calories for this whole bag and uh, I know from past experience that this whole bag is a lot of food um, so I'm more than confident that that will fill me up and you know as being a big guy part of the game isn't always just throwing you know keeping calories out but it's also feeling full and satisfied and I know that that's enough plenty of food to um, get me the calories that I need without putting me over and and fill me up so and I've never really had a mountain house I didn't I've had some mountain houses I didn't love but I've never had a mountain house that I was uh, disgusted with uh, so that'll be my dinner for the first night and we talked about breakfast and lunch for the next day um, you know, I'm gonna have some bacon and eggs now it is uh, bacon from a store in Hale Michigan called All Words it's amazing it's gonna be delicious but for dinner on Saturday you know what would be a bushcrafting video that I'll make out of it without steak which obviously I don't have here because I will be going camping uh, or, or uh, out there in three weeks. And I don't want to have a steak sitting around that long. Same with the asparagus, which will also be on my menu. Look at me, eating green vegetables. Uh, but what I will be taking is mashed potatoes. Now, uh, you can get these like super cheap at the store. But the reason I have both here is, you know, there's, you know, the difference. I don't care about the brand. But these, you have to take butter and, um, and milk to uh, make these and they're good and that's great but I don't want all the extra steps these are just to add water they're gonna taste just fine I guess I could take a, a um, you know I could take a potato out there and throw it in the fire and it'd be fine but these are gonna be delicious and also about 440 calories so uh, I might not eat all those because that's gonna be a lot of food I was thinking maybe like an eight ounce filet uh, as my steak, but we'll see what we get. But uh, I do want to keep it in that range or that calorie range that an eight ounce filet would bring, and um, you know, just to make sure that that's under control. <clears throat> now, I don't want to state the obvious, but I think that four ounces of filet mignon, um, just the meat itself sitting there, is about 180 calories uh, for four ounces. So if I have eight ounces, that's about 360 calories of um, just the meat. Now there are some other things that I'll be taking with me. Uh, I will be getting some uh, Land O'Lakes uh, hot cocoa which is about 140 calories a pack and um, I'll be having that twice. And I'll also be taking coffee. Now two kinds. Now some of my other videos, one of my other videos I pre-made a few of these. This is powdered creamer, sugar and coffee pre-mixed 
and it's 98 calories all mixed with 12 ounces of hot water. It's a pretty good cup of coffee. And then from there on out, just because it's easy, I'll just take some of these instant coffees and this coffee mate to go. Uh, like I said in one of my other videos, if I was manly enough to take it black, I would drink it black, but that's just not my jam. So this is what it is. Uh, in addition to that, I have a little cook kit I'll take with me and I'll show you that. Okay, so here is kind of like my little cook kit that I made and um, you know, every now and then out there, I like to have a little flavor in my beverage. I'm not going to be taking any with me today, or uh, I should say for this trip, because it should be plenty cold outside. And, you know, when that water is icy and cold, there is no little aftertaste. But, you know, even if you filter out or, or boil up a little bit of lake water, you know, after it sits in the sun and gets warm in your Nalgene, it can be all off. Anyways, here's in my cook kit. What's going on in here? Um, these are some preformed two liter uh, bottles that uh, are making great oil containers. And like I mentioned, I did allow for uh, the use of the oil uh, for cooking in my calorie content. And I assume that that'll get absorbed into some of theirs. So keep some oil in here. Also in here, this is um, some uh, steak and burger seasoning and uh, just vacuum sealed in there. And um, I'll probably end up using that on the steak back in a little spatula and a little green scrubby pad to clean up dishes if I needed to. Uh, now I didn't have in there but I'll put in here is one of these. This is just a little miniature soap bottle and uh, I do travel for work uh, pretty regularly um, and some of my hotel rooms will have this in there so I'll snag those and they're a nice little small size. So that's, uh, you know what, I'll just leave that out and put that in there. <coughs> Also in there, I have uh, some herbs from our garden, which if I didn't mention, you know, we did grow uh, our own herb garden amongst a few other things, vegetables this year for the first time. But uh, we also have chickens. So um, the eggs that I take obviously will be my home chicken eggs. And you know, so maybe I'll take some blue eggs from our Americanas. But anyways, this is some of the oregano. This is some of the thyme from, uh, from our herb garden. Also vacuum sealed. Um, there's trout and, and perch at the uh, at the lake we're going to. I don't know if it'll be frozen over. I'm not much of an ice fisherman, but if there's any openings, I might throw a line out there and see what's out there. And then here are the last of my spices. Now, I don't know, you know, this, this little brown thing, I never met my grandfather on my dad's side, but I do have a couple of his belongings. And one of the things that came my way was this little pouch with these three little tubes. And I've just kind of had this sitting in my my um, tool chest for a while. You know, I never met the guy, but I thought, hey, you know what would work? Seasoning. So I got some garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And then, uh, you know, those just button in there. And it's a nice little seasoning uh, kit on its own. So it fits in there conveniently. Now, also what I keep in here, kind of wrapped up and formed to the side. Uh, this is just a little bit of um, wax paper or... Uh, you know for baking with and if I wanted to bake in my cup or something like that I could you know line it with this and bake in there and then also some aluminum foil because you never know when you're gonna need that for you know a wind guard or to wrap something up in uh, or whatever but just in case I were to catch trout I think the oregano and thyme or I should say the thyme uh, should go on there well but that's my little seasoning kit and the last thing that I just didn't mention is I'll also be taking a couple of snack bars with me and uh, you know if you have fond memories of trail mix on the trail these new kashi um, bars are amazing i'm the last person on the face of the earth that would have eaten their old like uh you know hippie food that's you know tastes like tree bark this is actually kind of soft and chewy it's made with like an almond nut butter it's delicious the craisins in there really smell great there's a crisp to the almonds uh, so this is a delicious bar and it's about 140 calories uh, as well so i did the math and added everything up and let's go over the totals okay so here's our totals for everything and just to kind of reiterate so my breakfast the first day plus lunch and dinner uh, is going to be about 1948 calories and my goal was to be at um, 2500 so i have Quite a bit of surplus there which is very nice 
uh, Saturday. Um, I'm pretty close to my goal, that 2750. I just figure I'll be pumping out a little extra energy there. But uh, it's a 2718, and again, that includes my beverages and, and cooking oil added to the food. And um, my third day total, because it only accounts for uh, breakfast, which is oatmeal, uh, for lunch, I'll have my, uh, I'll probably stop at the subway, have a six inch uh, roasted chicken with double meat and uh, a bag of sun chips not because that they're healthy but because they're delicious and uh, that'll leave me about 1120 calories for for dinner so responsible dinner that night when i get home and uh, and i'll be good to go so um yeah overall I'm pretty excited i got my menu planned out uh, i'll be able to eat and i think you know feel full and uh Plus, being out there and being active sometimes curbs your appetite as it is, so there's a chance, you know, I might not eat everything that I take with me. I might not eat my snacks. I will. I'll eat those kashi bars. They're amazing. But uh, I probably won't eat all the potatoes, and I might not finish the whole bag of chicken teriyaki by itself. And um, I'm excited, so it's a good opportunity to stay under my calories. I might not put as much of my cooking in the video as I have in some of the first few that I've posted. But uh, I hope that you like this and maybe it made you think about, you know, what you're taking with you on the trail. Um, and thanks for watching FND Outdoors. And uh, here or there, I think it's here. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, you know, and feel free to make comments or questions. You know, what, what's your favorite thing to eat on the trail? Um, what are some things out there I'd love to know that are, you know, filling meals that are, are, are healthy, uh, calorie healthy, but also easy to carry um, and, and take out on the, on the trail, especially, you know, I want to get into some little lighter ultralight backpacking. So, you know, four or five day trek, what can I put in the bag that's going to fill up, fill me up, get me the calories that I need, not put me too much over, but uh, be easy to make. Like I said, don't take the one, the potatoes with everything, take the potatoes that just add water. So, uh, anyways, thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and I uh, look forward to uh, going on this trip and uploading that video as well. Happy to be outdoors. Let's get outside. Bye. Bonus footage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, Merry Christmas.